Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're gonna to talk about showers because this is a big thing for a lot of you is you wanna be able to take a shower on the road and not have to go in to pay between five and $15 for a shower all the time. So these are some devices. These are all air compressor devices. That means they uh, somehow manually, well, no, that one has a compressor. Uh, they, you pump them up or you have a compressor or you foot pedal it, something but you compress air. If you remember when you were a kid, if you got a, a, a water rocket, you put a, 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 they got a little rocket and a stand to put it on, you put some water in it and you pumped it up and then you let it go on it, man, it went way up there. These, that's what these are. The principle of air in water in a confined space creates pressure. Pressure is what runs your shower. So I've had these for a while, I've been using them uh, I, not as long as I need to to give you a final verdict, but enough to tell you my initial impressions. This is your standard uh, cheapo black uh, hanging shower bag. Uh, I don't like these, and maybe you will. I'm not saying you won't. I'm just saying that this isn't my favorite thing. Uh, the, this one, this was $11. So you're gonna have to spend more between 15 and 25 to get a good one that eliminates all these problems. This one just has a very short shower head, not much pressure, and uh, it's pretty flimsy and poorly made. Tiny spout to get it open, no, no pockets. You can get all that stuff if you wanna spend the money. It's five gallons, and that's about 40 pounds, five eighths is 40. So you're gonna have to lift this up and, and get it over a tree limb or on top of your hood. So next we have a standard garden sprayer. This is a Scott. That's a, a very good name. That's a big name in the gardening. You can buy these at Amazon. You can buy these at Walmart and, and Home Depot. And this one was uh, fairly expensive. I think it was $50. And uh, they work well. I'll, I'll demonstrate it here in just a minute. But uh, they, you pump, you get it full of water, you pump it up and then it has a release. There's no water in this one. We're not gonna demonstrate that. It works just fine. This one has a very short hose. So that's not good. Uh, and it's got a long wand. All these garden sprayers have the long wand. So you can barely get it up into your head and hair, which is a big deal for all of us with the, with the long wand and the short hose, bad combination. And then of course you, got it, you can do okay here you can go to Home Depot and buy all the parts to uh, convert this to use a shower head and probably even make the, the head longer, uh, the tube longer. But uh, that's going to cost you more money and it's going to take you time and you have to know how to do it. Now, assuming you don't want to spend the time and the effort and the money to turn this into a decent shower, it'll work just the way it is, but it's pretty inconvenient. This is a great shower and it operates under the same principle. You just pump it, it builds up pressure. I'm not gonna do it all now, but will that give me any pressure? Just a little. I really like this one. I love the shower. I'll pump it up really good and show you all the showers here in a minute and their strength. But I like this one a lot. And what I would do with it is paint it black. What I love about it, and I've been very pleased with it, is the enormous hose. See how ho long this hose is? Uh, it must, I think it's six foot, but at any rate, I mean, I can walk, I can walk all the way around here and put that anywhere I want. And then I can easily, you know, however tall you are, you can wash your hair. And I love the hose and the shower head's really good. I'll show you here in a minute. This holds three gallons. This holds three gallons. Uh, no, I think that was like two and a half. This was $65 and I bought it anyway to test it just so you could see. And I gotta be honest with you, I think I would give serious thought to buying this because uh, even at $65 and keeping it for myself because it works really well. And like all of these, it has a release valve. You push, pull, oh, pull this open, it releases the air so you don't have all that constant pressure. Okay, the next one is a Wadio foot pump and I'm gonna have to take it down on the ground and show it to you uh, being used as a foot pump. It comes in this box, which is a, small box and it comes with a bag to store it in it comes that's one of the best advantages to this is how tiny it packs down instead of having a uh hand pump this one has a foot pump i'm not fond of this uh i tested 
the original brand was Nemo. Uh, that was a, a brand name from, uh, man, they must've come out five, six, seven years ago. And it was a high quality, excellent product. Right now they're almost $200 and I would never spend $200 for a bag with a foot pump. Now this one's 34 and how the quality, will it hold up? I don't know. Uh, and it works fine. You have to pump it a lot. The pressure didn't seem good. I'll demonstrate that here in a minute. Uh, and finally, we have this guy. This is one of those Chinese comp pump companies that don't really give you a name. Uh, it's uh, B Todd, B T A W D. And it's got a little uh, USB compressor. So you're not hand pumping or foot pumping or anything else I and I so far I've been really happy with this and so it's just got a little button on it where you can turn it it's you know if you've had gone out with an air mattress and they come with a little electric pump that's just what this is it's an electric air pump that pumps this up I'll turn it on and it's pumping air into the um, into the bag it's black as you can see so it should get pretty warm in the good sun and they give you this thing to put under it. And it's got a Velcro strip here. You attach that to the Velcro strip. You put this, uh, uh, five gallons is a lot of weight. Uh, put that under it and it does stabilize it pretty good. This is just a bucket that a friend of mine had. So I'm, sh I'm using this to sh demonstrate this. And it pretty good. If you have any kind of a plastic bucket you can put it into, then it'll stay there really well. Again, it has a super, well, it's not a super long hose, but it's plenty long enough. Let me come around here. Uh, easily gonna, however tall you are, you're getting your hair. Because it's a bag, it also compresses really well. And it comes with uh, a, its own little storage bag. Still, I think that's great that they're, they're giving you this little bag that it stores away in, and there's a little bag of parts. One of the things uh, that people complain about is the Velcro goes gooey and slips and slides and eventually comes off. They actually give you an extra Vel Velcro patches. So the, the little compressor is USB to charge it. You just plug it into any standard USB outlet. So this is $50, uh, and it's kind of in the mid-range. It's 50, this is 34, this is 65. That's a pretty good stream and you can change it. And this is the soaker. And so it's doing what it's supposed to do. This is actually, you can use this as a garden in your garden, literally. Oh, there's a nice wide spray. If you need to get a lot of water out in a different area, you can also wash your car with this. I mean, uh, that's, that's probably enough to wash your car with and then center and then mist. Mist, huh? that's pretty good. And then shower. I really like this thing. And it has comes with two caps. This is the cap that goes in it while it's working, but this isn't watertight. And so they give you, you take this one off and you put the real cap on it, which is watertight. Seems to be super well made. I like this, I like this a lot. Then we come to the Wadio, which is a foot shower. You gotta pump, you gotta open it. And you have to pump it, tw they say 25 times. One, there's its spray, 25 pumps. It's com almost completely full. Well, it's not completely, but let me sh compare it to this one. So which of these would be the shower head you would rather work with? All right. So that's it. That's all the pressure you get. And again, the other one, just a night and day difference. It's not even lasting a minute and it's almost out. And this may be one of those times when you just have to spend the full price to get the Nemo. But then you're going to have to be doing this foot thing all the time. It's in the mud. These are all completely subjective opinions. I'm making it as honest as I can. So you get to make your own choice. But these are all subjective opinions and your opinion after seeing all the evidence might be completely different than mine. So you do you. That's pretty good spray. And it also is center. Oh, that's very good. 
cone, full, mist. Oh, boy, that's really good too. Jet, shower. That's good. Well, the bag is still better, uh, partly because this is losing pressure already and the bag has the compressor on it, so it never loses pressure, it just maintains it. You're not doing any work. See, this is usable. Yeah, this, see, you're not, you don't want a distance. You, you're gonna have this pretty close, so that's fine. But you're not gonna just open it and leave it open. You're gonna, you're gonna get wet, you're gonna slather, you're gonna start rinsing. So even what this did would probably do, and of course this is gonna run forever until it runs out of water. So my final thoughts, uh, I like this one a lot. Man, it works super, super well and it's easy. You turn the button on and it just goes. So I really like that for 50 bucks. To me, these are just not even a consideration. Uh, what I did find was if you get a little, if you press, compress it a bit, it will stand upright. So that was my failure. I don't like these. I don't like to put pop ups. I don't like things in the water. It doesn't seem to be to last long enough. Again, it might be perfect for you. It's $34. It's the cheapest of all of them. So that's something to consider. This was 65 uh, and I like it a lot. You're gonna have to fill it probably at least once uh, during your shower, pumping it you know, with your hand, but it's easy with your hand. You got your body weight going into it. Uh, I found that pretty easy. It's three gallons. It holds plenty. I'll paint it black. I think this could be a, a good, good, option for a lot of you the head's great the shower head's great uh long long hose again uh, this is a great hose uh, i love the ho shower hose this is going to give you much more pressure much better pressure a stronger hose a stronger a stronger spray um so I'll, those are just the pl uh, pluses and minuses i would suggest you get one of these see if it works for you 11 bucks is cheap no everything's simple uh, tiny little hose, pathetic little shower head. I'd buy it, and then if you don't like it, I'd just use it as a hot water heater. I think it's well worth eleven dollars as a hot water heater. It gets really hot. I don't want to make. I don't want to fuss with the Scott with this. So there you have it. Those are my final thoughts. I think uh, this one and this one are very viable options. They'd be something for you to consider. Uh, either one. The only the thing with this is it's virtually indestructible. Uh, the only thing that's going to go bad is the seal and you can probably find another seal. So this is gonna last you forever, I think. Uh, this one is gonna last you as long as the compressor lasts. How long will that be? I don't know. Uh, but that this has a failure point that's critical, and this one does not. This is great, I love this. I'll keep this and reuse and use it all the time and let you know how the compressor holds up. All right, hope you got something out of this video that helped you, that made your life on the road easier, and uh, maybe allayed some of your fears about going on the road, how are you gonna take a shower, We'll talk about shower enclosures later. We'll talk about the USB pumps. They're very, very good too. Uh, we'll, we'll cover everything about showering eventually. Okay, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and remember, die with lots of wonderful memories, not with a bunch of dreams, oh, why didn't I do that? Live your best life, folks. Live it today. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.